If you're thinking about working with a therapist or working with a coach, what I'm about to share will help you kind of navigate finding the right therapist or coach for you. So keep watching. The first thing is if you have an idea of what you want to work on, whether it's your relationships, whether it's boundaries, whether it's communication with your partner, whether it's your business, uh, whether it's confidence, whatever the challenge is, is that you're experiencing you want to make sure that the person that you are seeking help from and guidance and feedback whether it's through therapy or coaching is well versed in that area maybe they've already experienced that personally and they've overcome it and they're, now they're helping others or they've worked with plenty of people like you who have gone through similar struggles and they have a track record in terms of that particular issue right if you have a issue with addiction and you go to a therapist and she's like, I'm sorry, I've never worked with anyone in addiction. You probably don't want to go to that person. You want to be able to speak to them firsthand to see if you jive with them, whether like you feel comfortable with them. That's the number one thing. If you don't feel comfortable with somebody, you feel like they're judging you low key, or you feel like they just don't get it for culture. You know, maybe they're not the same culture as you. Maybe they just don't understand what you're going through, but whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's like, if you don't feel completely comfortable with them, that interaction, that relationship is really not going to benefit you because if you feel uncomfortable, you can't be your real self and you can't speak truthfully. And if you can't speak truthfully, then you can't really get the help that you need, right? So you want to feel comfortable. Don't assume um, that having a therapist who is of the same cultural background is actually going to be better or worse. To be honest, I started going to a therapist when I was 12 and she was not Indian. She was actually an older white woman. And I was with her for 16 years and I was with her because of how she made me feel. And I felt very validated and very heard, very safe and very understood. So if you are looking for someone based on like the sameness of your culture or your ethnicity or your religion, I'm just putting it out there that I don't always assume that just because they look like you or they're from the same background that it's necessarily gonna work. It's okay to choose someone based on that. However, there are a lot of other underlying factors that are gonna make or break the success of that relationship. The other thing that you want to look for is making sure that you get an idea so you can even flat out ask, what are our sessions going to look like? Is there a structure? Is there a format? Do I get to call you in between sessions? Are there assignments? Like what is going to be going on during the session and in between sessions? The more well informed you are, the more you go in being a proactive client. Now, if we're going to talk about whether you're looking for a therapist or a coach, I will say this. I'm both a licensed therapist and a certified coach. So with a the therapist, you want to look for they have their credentials are they licensed in the state that you're in obviously like you, you need to be legally licensed in order to provide that therapy now if you're working with a coach let me tell you what i would look for if you're looking for a coach have they experienced similar problems as you have they overcome them do you feel comfortable with them do you feel confident when you're speaking to them that you can be yourself have they walked that path i never want to take advice from someone who's never even gone through an, an ounce of what i've gone through right i want to work with someone who has what i want so if you're looking for confidence in yourself you want to look for a coach that's confident do not pick a therapist simply because your friend tells you that this therapist is amazing do not pick a coach because they have a million followers on instagram no 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 especially if you're working with somebody one-on-one -on -one, you want to make sure that you feel comfortable that you feel safe that you could speak your mind that you're not being judged and you want to make sure that the coach that you're working with is going to be straight up with you they're not just trying to be your buddy they are straight up with you this is someone that you are like you know what like i want what they have do not just pick someone based on person seems glamorous or they seem whatever like you want to pick someone based on real life experience okay and i think that's one thing do not get caught up in what you see on the outside you're interviewing them if you're seriously in the market for a therapist or a coach i cannot emphasize the importance of you you shopping around most therapists most coaches offer free consultations I would go ahead and schedule with a few you know, get some free consultations so you can really get a sense of the person that you're talking to based on your time budget most importantly how do you feel when you are around them trust your gut because at the end of the day there are plenty of people for you to choose from but there's one that's there for you that's going to help you move forward for whatever area of your life that you're really looking to progress in I hope this helps and just know that if you are looking for a therapist and a coach, I do offer 25 minute calls with an intake form so I can better understand you, what you're looking for, and to see if we're a good fit. If you are looking, then please use the link below and schedule your 25 minute call with me. I can't wait to talk to you.